What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today, the very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today is a very exciting day for our foldable friends out there. The Galaxy S25 Ultra has had one new i7 for a while. And of course the S24 Ultra has had the beta, but today we've got a few friends that are joining the beta. We've got the Z Fold 6. And yes, also my smaller friend here, which we'll take a look at in a bit, the Z Flip 6. Um, so the, both of these phones, I uh, got the beta yesterday. It's actually 12 hours ago, it was last night here. So I'm recording this on Friday and uh, I got this beta around like 8.30 p.m. on Thursday night. And I wanna go through some of the things that are new on the foldables for you guys in One UI 7. Also the S23 series will be getting the update very soon, later this month. So those of you who have the S23, S23 Plus, S23 Ultra, you guys can look forward to that as well. So uh, before we get started, make sure you guys check out our website, samiguru.com. We have all the written coverage over there. Uh, we've covered a bunch of the features that I'll talk about in the video. And of course, we always have your greatest uh, Samsung news, tips, tricks, tutorials, and reviews. You can also get in our rewards program. Only a couple of mystery boxes left. If you're still going to buy an S25 Ultra, you can get a mystery box. But Sammy Guru Rewards is going to let you get a gift year-round, even outside of the mystery box program window. The sign-up will be open very soon. So check out the newsletter if you guys want to sign up. Be notified when that goes live. So let's take a look first at the Z Fold 6, because I think this is the one... Um, that maybe more people, I don't know, maybe some more people want to see the flip, but we're going to look at both individually. I just want to show you guys how One UI 7 looks on here. So there's your notification, uh, sorry, your quick settings. Here's your notification panel right there. You guys can see it. Um, then let's go ahead and open it up and I'll do that as well. Do the same thing on the main screen. I have a different wallpaper on my main screen and my cover screen. There you go. And there's the notifications. Overall, the animations look very fluid. There does seem to be a little bit of wasted space. Not too bad, not like it was on the tablet UI that we saw, but there's a little wasted space here in the uh, sides uh, when on the main display here. But the notification panel looks pretty good to me. Here's your app drawer right here, vertical app drawer, of course, the default. Same situation as on the uh, S25 and S24 series on the beta. You can switch it to custom order, but then it's gonna be the horizontal scrolling, so. If you want the vertical scroll, you got to go right there. Uh, I'll show you guys really quickly how that looks. I probably should have did everything on the cover screen first and then switched switched off. But uh, this is how it looks on the cover screen. Search there. You got your site, you know, your device wide search and everything like that. Um, overall, I think it's pretty fluid. I'll go to the settings real quick. The main settings. You guys can see the main settings. There is no now brief. I'll show you guys how the now bar looks in just a second. No now brief. In Galaxy Eye, you've got your drawing assist and all that stuff, um, but no now brief, which is still an S25 exclusive. Samsung says that some of the older phones need more powerful NPUs because of the AI, you know, but I don't know, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 should easily be able to run that. I also noticed that when you go in here to the brightness menu, you don't have the adaptive color tone, um, which you also don't have on the Z Fold Special Edition either. I have my Z Fold Special Edition here. I'll show you guys a comparison in a second, but you do have it on the Z Flip 6, which we'll see in a second. Now, I want to show you guys really quickly the taskbar on the main display. So when you go into something, let's go into Twitter. Now there's a new feature in One UI 7 on the Fold 6 where you can swipe up slowly to reveal. See, so guys, you can reveal the taskbar there. Just a slow swipe. You don't have to hold long press anymore. And then uh, when you pop this out, here's how it looks with the popped out full app grid. You've got the search bar down here at the bottom. Very fluid animations overall. Um, goes right back in, you guys can see. The only thing I will say is because if you're using gestures, obviously you could mistakenly activate, you can see how it activates it for a second? It activates the taskbar a little bit when you're exiting the app. It doesn't always do that. If you do it really fast, it won't. But if you do a slow and then you do a fast one, you're gonna see it activate first. Not a huge deal. Um, and of course, that's kind of a side effect of doing it this way, but I think it looks pretty good overall with the taskbar. Some people said it looks like Mac OS, but I don't think it looks bad. And the animations certainly look fluid uh, with that right there. Samsung still has this giant battery icon. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'll try to show it up there. It's still pretty, pretty massive in terms of the being fat, not long and skinny. I'm not a huge fan of the battery icon. I still think they need to change that. There's no other crazy feature. Someone was asking me if you get uh, advanced battery info on this one because the S25 series was supposed to have that. At one point, you do not get any advanced battery stats on this. Still hasn't come to all the S25 devices. And I don't even know if that's coming to older um, devices like the Z Fold 6, Z Flip 6, etc. 
but uh, that is something to be aware of. Let's take a look at the now bar so you guys can see this. Let me go ahead here and just play some music. There is one big difference between this and the Galaxy S25 series. You notice up here, let me show you an X. You can see here in the very top left corner that the music is now in the live activity section, uh, which also can be tapped to expand there. You can see I'm using YouTube music. This does not appear on the Galaxy S25 series One UI 7 or the S24 series in One UI 7 beta. Um, this also shows the music now both in your notification section as a live notification and then also over here inside of your quick settings. And of course, you also get the now bar on the lock screen, which is right down here at the bottom on the main screen. Of course, you can expand this and this is how it looks when it's expanded. Very, very cool. It actually gives you a little bit more information, a little bit different UI than it is on the S25. And I can show you guys how it looks here on the cover screen as well. You can see here the live activity is scrolling. It's supposed to scroll and then show you the full title and then it kind of stops. And then here you can see there is the now bar right there at the bottom with the music. So overall, I like the placement of it on the Z Fold 6. Um, it looks pretty good and I definitely like that they brought the music um, to the notification section, um, which is a very nice touch. I think they bring that to the S25, the S24, etc. So that's pretty much what I've noticed. I'm sure there's some other foldable exclusive little tidbits that I can cover in a future video, but that's what I've noticed so far. And I want to show you guys kind of the big things, the UI, the now bar, some of the changes that I've noticed, etc. But uh, those are things that I wanted to show you guys on the fold. Now let's take a quick look at the flip. The flip, of course, let's stick with the cover screen here on the flip actually in the beginning. So on the flip, here's how the uh, quick settings look on the flip. And then uh, if I go in, it's telling me to cover the fingerprint sensor. There's the notifications. You guys can see right there. Scroll through there. Um, looks pretty good in terms of the UI. You still got your widgets. You got to do the password or pen to get your widgets. Still got all your widgets that you can access here. You can still use the launcher to get extra apps um, from GoodLock, which is fantastic. I've been using that on my flip since the beginning. It's one of the most useful features. Um, the now bar does exist on the cover screen. I'll play some music in a second and show you guys. But here's your notifications on the main screen. And here's your quick settings on the main screen. You've got your vertical app drawer here. You've got your, here's your main settings menu. Once again, no now brief on here, nothing like that. So, but all the other main features here, Galaxy Eye are included um, that you would expect to be on the flip anyway, uh, but no real surprises in terms of what's included there. Uh, if you go into the brightness, like I said, you do have adaptive color tone on here. So adaptive color tone is included in the brightness menu on the Z Flip 6. Now, I will show you guys really quickly the now bar as well on the Z Flip 6. Let me play some music. The live activity also works in the notification area. You will notice it here. Right up there is the live activity. Once again, you can expand it right there. It does live in the notification area as well as living in the quick settings on the Z Flip 6. And if we close this, you'll see the now bar on the cover screen lives down here. And if you expand it, it goes into this full screen mode with the music widget, which looks really, really nice, honestly. I'm really impressed actually with the way it looks. And look at that little animation. Look how it dips up and dips back down. I love that. It's absolutely, absolutely just gorgeous. Samsung did a great job there. Now, not everything is perfect, however, um, they did make a mistake, and I'll show you guys because I took a video last night. Let me move this out of the way. Let me show you guys the uh, S25 Ultra. Um, I took a video when I went to charge the Z Flip 6 last night. There is some bad news. Samsung left the old charging animation <laughs> inside the cover screen. So if you charge it with the cover screen, you're going to get the old animation. The new charging animation is not there. So that's one small attention to detail um, that they didn't actually pay attention to. Anyway, um, I'm pretty happy with Z Fold 6, Z Flip 6, One UI 7. There's definitely some things they could change for sure, but uh, I think Samsung has done a pretty great job overall. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm sure there's more features I'll dig into and make another video. Of course, we'll have full coverage at SammyGuru.com. Check out SammyGuru Rewards as well if you guys are interested in that. Appreciate you guys checking out this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.